So I've seen this really cool spiral stair and as you can see it's a combination of uh, these wooden steps with this interesting cladding on the bottom and I thought well how can we do something like this in a rabbit and well I figured it out and I'm going to be showing you everything step by step in this tutorial. Let's go! Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. There you can find all of my courses. I actually have a whole dedicated course on stairs and railings in Revit. And also, if you're interested in ready-to-go stair families, while well, we have a complete stair pack that includes some of these unique stairs in Revit, which I'm sure you haven't seen anywhere else online. So if you're interested, check it out. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit, and this is going to be the building that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. As you can see, we have a couple of levels here, and we need to add our spiral stair inside. Now, for that, let's navigate to the level one floor plan, zoom in a little bit, and here we have some detail lines just to help us out with the correct position of this stair. And then let's go to the stair tool, and here we first need to assemble the stair or create the actual stair. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to the menu and as you can see, these are the stairs that we have and we can basically pick, do we want to start with an assembled stair or do we want to start with a monolithic stair? It's really up to us. So I'm just going to go with the assembled stair select it here and then go into edit type and now I'm just going to duplicate this type and call it our new stair. Then let's click OK. And here, the next step is going to be to uh, change some of the settings for the construction and the supports. So for the supports, uh, I'm still going to be using a stringer. However, I'm going to change the stringer that's being used. So I'm just going to click here and then click on this little button, which is going to open up the type properties for that stringer. And then let's duplicate this family. Let's call it our new stringer and then click OK. And here I want to make some changes to the uh, settings. So first for the structural depth, uh, let's change the uh, structural depth on run. I'm going to change this to 380 and on the landing I'm going to change it to 400 and then the rest of these are going to stay the same. So then let's hit apply and OK. And now we have our new stringer created here. And then for the second one, let's also set this to new stringer and then click OK. And now we have applied these new stringers that we have created. Then for the run type and the landing type, we need to edit those as well. So let's click here to open up those families. And here you can actually change the family itself. So I can change this to the monolithic run. And then I'm just going to set it to 150 depth. And uh, for the material, we can just leave it at this clad white works perfectly fine for me. And then let's click OK. And then for the landing type, let's click here, go to edit family, change it to monolithic, and then we can go with the 221 and click OK. Uh, and also for the stringer, I just want to double check the material. Yeah, so let's also set this to clad white just so we can have everything in white, the whole stair double click on that material, hit apply. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have everything set up now here, I can click apply and okay. And then here I'm going to change the uh, actual thread depth from 250 to 800. Uh, I know this is excessive. However, uh, this is quite a large stair and a public space. So it makes sense to have these larger threads. Then for the actual run width, let's set it to 1800. And for the uh, type that we're going to be using here to place it, uh, or the, the, the component, I'm going to pick the center and spiral. So you set this to center and spiral, you click then first in the center, then you click here to place the, one of the, kind of the uh, start, and then let's go to the other side to place it. So you're just gonna have to start going in that direction and then it's going to place a stair in that direction. So now when I make it all the way through, as you can see, we have created 19 risers. I can simply click and it's going to place that stair. Now I can simply hit here, select that stair again, and then let's go to edit stairs. And here I would like to add a landing. So let's actually 
create a sketch for this landing and let's use pick lines. So let's pick this line, this line, this one, and this one hit the skip key a couple of times. And now you can simply select these two arcs because circles in Revit are created as a couple of arcs. So now we can just delete the ones on top, use trim and extend to corner, TR is the shortcut and just trim and extend it here and here until we get these corners, hit finish and let's go to the 3D view just to double check what that looks like. And as you can see, we have this nice landing over here and the stair looks really, really cool, exactly how we want it to look. Okay, so now for the uh, final run on top, what we can do is we can simply uh, select the run itself and then go to copy, paste, align to selected levels and then select level two click OK and it's just going to duplicate that up and this is what we have. So let's open up level three. There we go. And then we can select the floor like that. Go to filter, check none, floors, apply. OK. And now we can go to edit boundary. And here I just want to pick this outline if I can. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Uh, for the outside of the stair, then use pick lines, pick this line and then this line. And then I want to switch to an arc and go from here to here and then create that arc like so just to make it kind of fluent. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then we can just adjust this like so and that should be it. There we go. So now when I go to the 3D view, this is what that looks like. And let's open up that level two. And here, let's create a quick camera view to see what that would look like from the inside. Yeah, this looks really, really cool, just like that original image. And in the end, this is what we have. So I have added just this a uh, cool realistic tree in the middle. I think it looks really, really cool and it works with this project and we have that beautiful spiral stair. Now, if you would like to get this tree and all, all of my other uh, realistic trees, you can find those on balkanarchitect.com. So I'm just going to be linking that up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. So you can check out the tree pack available on balkanarchitect.com. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.